Hey, welcome back, friends. So I bet a lot of you probably think you know the hitch weight on your travel trailer. Well, I got news for you. If you listen to your manufacturer and you took their number, you're going to be way off, especially when you put propane, batteries, camping gear inside the trailer. You can be off by as much as 20, 30 percent at times. For example, our 2800 bunkhouse, uh, it, it has an advertised hitch weight of around 600 pounds. In reality, it's over 900. So you can imagine what that does to your payload calculations when you're shopping for a truck and shopping for a trailer if you've already got the truck. Well, today I've got a very simple device for you. This is the Simple Way from Fastway Trailer Products. Uh, we're not, I, it's pretty self-explanatory. I know exactly what this hitch weight is and I'm gonna let you know if it's accurate or not. That's what we're gonna do today. There's a couple of little pointers on how to use it, mostly common sense. But yeah, we're gonna go over whether or not it's accurate and a couple of those pointers. That'll be about it. It's a really short video. Hope you'll stick around. Let's jump right in. There's only three rules for today's video. One, make sure your trailer is well chocked and all your stabilizers are up. That may seem obvious, but for some, they need a, a, a reminder, okay? Uh, two, as soon as this leaves this platform, I'm done. So I, I don't need to get this anymore. I don't need to, my foot here on the tongue jack to be any more than one inch off the ground. I'm gonna try to keep it less than that. I mean, as soon as it comes off, of this uh, little Anderson hitch block right here. I'm, that's it, I'm stopping right then. So, because this is not terribly stable, you can see the footprint on this thing is not that big. So I want a little safety net right here. As soon as this comes off this block, that's it, we'll get our reading. No, the third rule, I actually can't tell you what this tongue weight is. This is a prototype trailer. I'm not allowed to reveal any details until July 22nd. If you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, you guys know that. I posted all that recently. But I am going to tell you whether or not this is accurate, okay? So uh, it's really simple. I don't know if this is fluid or springs. I have no clue. It's very stout. I do know that. I couldn't get it to hardly budge at all. It goes from 300 pounds up to 2,100 pounds. We'll definitely be within that range, I can promise you that. But yeah, let's see if it's accurate. Okay friends, I forgot to mention, make sure you're level, which we were, we're no problem there. But yeah, this thing is dead on, at least within 25 pounds or so. So you can see the different, uh, you're looking at the different markings there. These are actually engraved here. These, this is not some cheap sticker. This is actually engraved or stamped into this. And then, uh, yeah, there were the 50 pound, 25 pound increment, increments. And yeah, it was, it's pretty darn close, close enough uh, to get you in where you need to be. So yeah, I, can I suggest it? Yeah, I think so. There's other options out there without a doubt. And, and then some of you are crazy enough to do the whole two by four on a bathroom scale thing that's out of my league. I'm too dumb for that. But uh, but yeah, to keep things simple, I do like this product right here. It's very heavy duty. I mean, this thing probably weighs uh, close to 10 pounds. It's, it's no joke. Uh, welded down here at the bottom. And yeah, it's pretty darn simple. Short video today. I hope it was useful. If it was, as always, consider subscribing. See you guys.